Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 25 April here. Sort of the post Easter week. Had some movement in FX, which we're thankful for. Uh, let's have a look and see where we are. Here's the Aussie chart here. Printed a 7004 low. This uh, coincides with the lows back in March, which were 70.03. Um, looks like it's just a matter of time before we plow through 70 cents. Getting a little bit stretched, so it's going to be tough um, to get through there without an event. Could be durable goods. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, still sell on rally as far as we're concerned like yesterday anyone who sold between 45 and 65 got paid uh, 50 was the high today same type of deal um, we're not going to lower our selling band we're still selling between 45 and 65 in the Aussie today let's move to euro choppy day yesterday but we finally got some love there through 79 um, nice clean little whistly number 40 points down to 40 we've been 44 60 overnight 16 point range so not a whole heck of a lot happening uh, this is a fade now back up between 85 and the figure we're gonna call 95 this line here your top now so you want to be short euros core short is the way um, should be uh, the usual tomfoolery in FX similar to yesterday right so we broke 90 94 went to 81 at that juncture we were short our average was 99 and we we're going to be selling some more through 75 so it was all looking looking quite quite toasty uh, but then we got that silly move up to 10 and took us out of our first shorts and then of course we resold but these kind of moves happen the reason I bring it up is these kind of moves just happen in FX you have to respect them you have to be disciplined one of the reasons they happen is because people do respect them and people are disciplined for the most part um, at least the pros are uh, so you want to give yourself some room for this kind of uh, tomfoolery in euro so we're, we're sellers between 80 and the figure today in euro BOJ today nothing happened pretty neutral uh, sort of as expected stuff the next little place here in Euro Yen is going to be this. People are going to be talking about this sort of head and shoulders deal. This will be the neckline at 80. So we're expecting sort of a right hand shoulder here to form. So similar to Euro Dollar, we are sellers of Euro Yen. We continue to be sellers of Euro Yen. Uh, today, between 20 and 40, you want to sell some Euro Yen. Keep your core shorts. Um, there will be people adding, sort of CTA type people adding through 80 this week. Looks like a Friday trade to me, but could happen today. We'll have to see. Uh, as far as news that can drive stuff, Italy's out today. We've got Spanish unemployment, no one cares. It's basically just durable goods today. So we got durable goods, 2.30 Swiss time. We'll have to see see how that looks. Take a look at the stock indexes. Not really much to report. No real change. We did have a down. We did have a red day yesterday, and we did have selling into the close. First time we've seen that in a while. Um, but really, sort of an I don't care bar. I don't care day. Very small range. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the breadth of this of this move or at the all-time highs and only nine percent of uh, you know sort of between nine and ten percent of the stocks are at all-time highs 
So what they're basically saying is this is being carried by a couple of names and the breadth of the market isn't as strong. We don't really care um, about all these antics, the lower volume, lower, lower participation rate. What we're basically waiting for is the straw to break the camel's back and basically some price confirmation that this thing uh, has turned. So far we've had neither, so we continue to watch. We will be selling high ones today as we are prone to do when we see the risk reward upside down like this between 44 and 50, 29, 44 and 29, 50, we will be sellers. We obviously did not get paid yesterday, so no big deal. Um, played around in our currencies, that was fine. What else is out there? Cable still looks like crap. Uh, don't expect this thing to get back above these moving averages anytime soon, so you can sell this thing on any bounce up towards 129.70. Dollar Yen was interesting yesterday. It looked like she wanted to turn there when we printed that uh, 69 low. But then, of course, everyone forgot there was a 10, there was a 10 point roll. There was a 10 point carry roll in Dollar Yen last night. So as the day drew longer, uh, and Euro went down a bit. There was some sort of forced buying and some silly business uh, up through uh, 112.17. Makes for an interesting week now. We talked about this at the beginning of the week. We had this sort of doji week. Now we've made a new low. We've made a new high. We're totally indecisive still. And the GDP move on Friday is gonna is going to tell the tale for dollar yen this week. I have a sneaking suspicion this thing is going to head lower, uh, but we shall see. Dollars are same business, smashing the czar. This is set to continue. We could get some consolidation today. I guess if you wanted to be cheeky, you want to stick like a 30, 1430 bid between 1430 and say 1420. You can buy this thing. Uh, this is gonna. This is gonna go through 1475 very soon. Two things are happening here. Obviously, massive dollar buying. DXY is at 98.05, um, but also one risk turns. This is gonna get a kick in the balls as well. So if you get dollar higher and risk turning, emerging markets get smoked. This will be this time will be no different. So we're buyers of this stuff between fourteen thirty and fourteen twenty today. Not much else out there. You know, we got this Aussie level we're watching very closely. We're core short euros trading that. Core short euro yen trading that. Uh Italy's out today. BTP put in a silly, silly bar yesterday, but it was an inside day, so no drama. This gets um a little bit upside down if we do trade above say third one thirty twenty. Uh boons through the roof. Negative yields again in Germany. This is usually a harbinger for for risk off, but we'll have to see. And crude crude did kind of have a little micro turn yesterday, so we've we printed a low of 66. Tuesday's low was 58. Today we've traded down to 54. We're not nothing here to write home about yet, but a little bit of a micro turn in crude. I read this morning that gold also turned. Let's see, mm, not too, not not too much of a turn. Gold's still on its knees. Green day yesterday. Uh, this looks like a very important low now, 1268. If gold does start shooting higher, this will squeeze euro shorts a little bit. So we want to watch that just on the periphery today. Anyway, that's all we got today. Um, trading euro from the left hand side um, and waiting for durable goods. 
good luck out there, people. Make lots of money. Bye.